Uh, all right, Salt Lake City, F them. Yeah, they're kicking our ass By left the way, and right. I've never been to Salt Lake City. Oh, it's nice. It's lovely. Yeah, I've flown over Salt Lake City. It's got a good airport, too. And the the lake is cool to fly over. Yeah, you, that's all you need to go. You don't need to go to the Great Salt Lake. Well, the Great Salt Lake is very... Uh, salty. <laughs> <laughs> that it is. It's very salty. It is uh, very interesting because, uh, like, what, what do... There. What... Is there like, uh, what happens? Does anything happen with the Great Salt Lake? You can go and like, it's like one of those things you can like float in it and you do get you, in it. Yeah, because you can do the you yeah. know, you, you're the more buoyancy. you're more buoyant in it. Oh, so you've been in the Great Salt Lake? I have been in the Great Salt Lake. Did you pee in it? I don't remember. It was a long, long time ago. But yeah, when you go there, it's like. You know, when you're in Utah, you have to go see the lake at some point. I spent five years there, but I will tell you this: in my five years there, lake. you know how many times I went to that lake? Once. It how far is the lake from Salt Lake? Not it's city. From Salt Lake City proper? Oh God, I don't know because we went from Provo. Like, uh, is the lake always in your view? Like when you're in Chicago, the lakes are just right there, right? It's like, it, or is Salt Lake like away from the? I, it's like I want to say from Salt Lake proper. I want to say maybe like twenty minutes, give or take. All right. So when you when you live in Salt Lake, you don't really you have to see the lake. All you got to go to the lake. You got to go to that lake. Yeah, you go to the lake. I'm gonna go to that lake. You go to that lake. And there's it's a state park. You know, I don't think it's a national park, but it's a state park. Funny enough, it's a gorgeous city for seeing the mountains surrounding it. It's yeah. like nestled into the mountains, so you it don't really see the lake, but you see the mountain range. When I flew into Salt Lake, I thought it was. Gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just saying, like, of all the, the, the parks that are in Utah, Zions and Arches and all that, like, those are all much better than, you know, the, well, the Great Salt Lake Park. I just feel like we've learned a lesson here. Yeah. Well, it sounds like that Salt Lake is going to get the NHL. Certainly They might get the Coyotes. Way. Yes. And they're angling to get Major League Baseball. Mm-hmm. So if we've learned anything... It would be that the the landscape for trying to bring a big league team to a city because we've been through MLB two two iterations of trying to bring MLB here mm-hmm. over twenty five years. Of course, we're always trying to bring the NFL to Tuliton. <laughs> yes. The landscape shifts so quickly. This is the lesson: cities pop up out of nowhere. Sentiments change rapidly. Yeah, most of it is wildly unpredictable. And you have to strike if the iron's even remotely warm. Yeah. That's what we're learning here. And because that's... all of a sudden, Salt Lake, like Vegas came out of nowhere. Yes. And now Salt Lake's come out of nowhere. Salt Lake, in theory, in three or four years, could go from just having the Jazz to having yes. the Jazz, the Coyotes, which yes. maybe they renamed to something else they should, and then potentially a, a baseball team, whether that be a team that relocates or an expansion team. I mean, and they've had the Olympics. Dude, they... they Potentially could lap us. What's next? Seven times over. Medford. <laughs> well, it's, look at Vegas. Vegas is going to have eventually have every pro sport. Yes, although Vegas makes sense simply because. Well, it does it, now, but it didn't ten it, years ago. Well, no one wanted to touch the gambling thing. But when you look at at economies uh, and and like growth, it's Utah is booming. Yeah, it is. It is on fire, and more importantly, they have a political climate that wants these things. They have, they have, uh, what elect- a novel concept they that have is. elected they officials have, like unity and continuity. They have a bunch of people on the same page, yes. which is not something we have yeah. here. It's like they put together their, I think they're calling it the, the power district or whatever that they're trying to, to when they're, they're, they're baseball thing, and everyone's on board. They're going to do a whole big city development, like, but. No one's doing that. What we need to do the environmental thing, and we can't do this. And bunch of uh, bars where you can get your mocktails. Yeah, well, Salt Lake is actually becoming less LDS. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. So there, there's actually so who's all moving there? Like who? People for businesses. I don't know. It's yeah. it's 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 affordable, and you know, and look, it's it's still very much a Mormon city. But there are like, I want to say. I want to say at one point it was like eighty percent, and it's going the other way. Like when you go there now, there's I think it's th- like about fifty fifty. Is it now? I, I'll, I'll look, but I, I think it's pretty close. But there's more bars popping up and more, you know, nightlife, and it's yeah, it's there's trust me, the, the Mormon Church will always dominate that place. Forty nine percent. But yeah, see, it's starting to loosen. How about the, that? It's starting to loosen the grip. What did a it bit. used to be? It used to be high. It used to be in the, I want to say in the high seventies. Wow. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. And you're saying it's not that expensive to live there? I mean, it's for for a major city. It's not like Texas cheap, but yes, it is. It is. Uh, it is affordable. Hmm. Maybe it's, I'll move there, dude. Salt Lake is a booming. What about? Uh, and, and again, there's what a, about the weather? Uh, weather's great. Think oh, Colorado. Yeah. Wow, you can get a really nice house for. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. Think like Colorado. You're gonna get cold winters, but it's it's dry. It's snow, and there's lots of skiing. And in the summer, it's hot. And, hot, arid. Yeah, and you can, like I said, there's a lot of really great natural parks. and. Yeah, I don't you know, want to live there. I don't either, but. Nice just, place to visit. Yeah, it's a great place to visit. Uh, just don't live in Provo. No, I, Utah is not, a, is not a bad place, and people are catching on to that. Well, screw them and their hockey. And potentially their baseball. That hurts. It stinks. Yeah. But look, I'm just happy, like, the, the Coyotes need to get the hell out of Arizona. That thing is yeah. an abomination. Well, we take them. Well, we were close. We were close uh, a number of years ago. We were close to getting the Pittsburgh Penguins, and we, which would have been really good because they were went on to win three Stanley Cups. But uh, the Phoenix Coyotes now, I think it's is it Arizona. They keep going back. It's Arizona now. I think the Arizona Coyotes, but I think at the time it was the Phoenix Coyotes. Um, this was back when we had the the great Ian Furnace. And they were really close to coming to Portland. Like that deal was closer than than people realize. And if we had had a uh, if we had had an owner that at all was remotely into hockey or was open to the idea, we would have the NHL by now. We just, you know, Paul Allen didn't give a rip about hockey. Is the Utah mascot going to be the Super Soakers? <laughs> That's from the text line. I hope they change it because I the think there might be soaking going on. Uh, they're also saying Salt Lake is rumored uh, for another bid at the Winter Olympics. Yeah, because they already have the infrastructure. Yeah. Uh, uh, man, all right. Well, I mean, it's like. I mean, does it, why do you want that? You've already had it. Oh, I think the Olympics. Make because the money. Olympics is a freaking it's, it's, it's a big deal. grift and a scam. Yeah, I mean, not l- not many places l- should have it. Yeah. Salt Lake is also. Uh, it says uh, there are strip clubs in Salt Lake now. These I'm reading text here. There were now. strip clubs when I was there. Okay, they weren't great. Now here's a bro who used to have Salt Lake in his sales region, mm-hmm. and he said he never had a problem finding a cocktail. Yeah, so that's a fallacy on my part. My well, bad. It's it's a pain in the ass because they used. I don't know how restrictive they are, but used to have the the in order to be a bar, you had to be like a social club. So that had to be like a you had to pay yeah. like a, a you had to have a dollar, sponsor sponsor like a membership fee. That's and stupid. It was dumb. And like the alcohol content in the beers is forced to be lower. Oh God! And, and Sunday, there's no you know oh, sales. So God, you know. I remember when I went to South Carolina for a wedding years ago. I don't even know what year it was. It would have been in the '90s. They all their bars had little airplane uh, cocktail bottles. Mm-hmm. That's how they. That's that was their. Like if you looked at the bar, that's what it was. It was air airplane cocktail bottles, <laughs> and that's how they would measure the <laughs> drinks. Stop it! Yeah. That's true. That's I don't know sad. if it's still like that. I I avoid South Carolina, but it's sad. You're sad. I've heard South. I've heard good things about the Carolinas, though. South Carolina. Uh, here's someone who says Utah is probably the most scenic state I've ever been to. Beautiful all over. Yes. Yeah. It is. It is beautiful. And somebody else says, "No, it sucks. This is not factual." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't please them all out there. You can't, Jace. You you can't please everybody. But everybody's it, got an opinion. And I'll say this: the city is well run. It is clean. The traffic flows well, real look, well. They, there's they a lot a nice of criti- the, there's a lot of criticism of the Mormons. Yeah. But the one thing that you probably can't criticize them for is their togetherness and their ac- uh, business acumen. They run it well. They're pretty smart. Yeah. Fortunately, like if you walked around downtown Salt Lake and you walked around downtown Portland, you say, which one has your ass together? And it ain't going to be us. Although we're getting better. We're getting better. <laughs> not we're not dead, dead yet. Not dead yet. 